Good Monday morning, everyone. Meteorologist Stone Schaefer here with your September 4th one-minute forecast. It is Labor Day, everyone, and uh, we're really ranging on those temperatures. Lower 70s all the way up to the lower 90s in the south central, maybe some mid-90s down in northern uh, South Dakota. Uh, just this huge range, and dew points are going to be in the mid-60s in some areas down to the south central. So uh, you're going to feel it as you get out and about today, and that's going to help fuel in some severe weather as well. Uh, we're looking at a marginal risk across much of the state of the severe weather, but then we have this slight risk. That moves us up to scattered showers and thunderstorms that could be severe. Uh, concerns for today are going to be ping pong ball sized hail, but that, that size could go up as well. And we're also looking at winds up to 70 miles per hour, could get up to 80 as well as some of these storms move through. They're just uh, looks like it's going to develop really along that line of slight, but again, could spread itself out as we get through the afternoon. The persistent cast is going to show we'll have rain on and off uh, throughout most of the day, mostly up to the northwest and the north central. Uh, could have some thunderstorms as well with that, but as we get into around 5 p.m., 4 to 5 p.m. is where we're going to see that line of rain and thunderstorms move itself in from the southwest, uh, really from the northeast of South Dakota, or northwest of South Dakota, uh, and really just show itself across much of the south. Uh, first, probably in the Dickinson area, right around, we'll go... 7 p.m. is when they could see probably that hail, heavy wind start to form. And then right around 10 p.m., 9 to 10 p.m. is when we could see those storms hit the Bismarck Mandan area. And heavy rain is going to be possible. It's going to be another concern is localized flooding as this storm moves through. You're looking at maybe one to two inches of rain in the Bismarck Mandan area as it moves through. And obviously that would cause a localized flooding, especially in low lying areas. And then moves out throughout the night. But we could have rain on and off for many areas as we get into tomorrow morning as well. Finally, should dry off as we get into Tuesday afternoon. It looks like we should have a drier pattern for most of the week into Wednesday as well. Lots of sunshine there. Uh, Thursday, we'll have another light chance of rain that moves through probably throughout uh, the afternoon. Just looks like some maybe showers, a, a thunderstorm could be possible there as well. Uh, highs tomorrow are showing us we're dropping back to the 70s and maybe even mid-60s for areas in the central portions of the state and your 10-day temperature trends after today. Uh, we hit the 70s. We're staying in the 70s until about mid to the end of next week.